I 22 male, caught my GF now X, of 3 years 22 female, sleeping with my best friend of 7 years, now also X, 22 male violence was almost had. To put it mildly, my day has been a complete disaster. As a result, my that was unquestionably the worst day of my life in my view, and as a result, I believe a brief review of history is in order. The duration of this discussion will be considerable. My friendship with this gentleman, Josh, began while we were in high school, about seven years ago. We'd known each other since third grade, I guess, but hadn't really hung together until tenth grade, for a variety of reasons that I can't recall. As siblings, he and I were as close as brothers could possibly be. During high school, the only time our friendship collapsed was when we both developed feelings for the same lady at the same time. I first went after her, I made a mistake and stuff happens. After a few weeks, they were able to finally meet. I became upset with him because he made me feel like I was a third wheel on a few of occasions. Since that terrible event, things have been going quite smoothly for the most part. We went to the same high school and now share a house with two of our university classmates, who are also friends. Until now, everything had been going swimmingly. My first year of college has brought me into contact with a girl on his floor. She, Anna, was wonderful, and we struck up a quick friendship. We spent the next three years in the most loving, healthy, and joyous relationship I'd ever been a part of, and it was the highlight of my life. We never got into a fight, but instead spoke about a variety of issues. We might sit and enjoy one another's company for extended periods of time, or we could just have a good time with each other by being silly. There's no point in trying to describe myself any further since the word love, taken in its most literal sense, perfectly reflects my feelings. Josh also had a wonderful girlfriend, and the four of us would spend a lot of time together as a result of this. They'd only been together for a year, and they didn't expect to stay together for much longer. So, let us return to the situation. Our students are on their final day of fall vacation today. Today, I had to work from 3.00 a.m., until 8.30 a.m., which was a long day. I'd made plans with Anna to meet up after work when I got back to my apartment. On my return, I discovered Josh was the only one in the house, but I could clearly hear him engaging in activities. I also saw that my girlfriend's footwear were on the ground. I had thought she had come to surprise me, given what a lovely young lady she is, but it seems that was not the case. I make my way down to my room on the second floor. Much to my surprise, she isn't in the room with us. I'm plainly bewildered, and then I hear something that will stay with me for the rest of my life. Fortunately, I've heard my girlfriends cry enough times to be able to distinguish it. It's important to note that I was bullied a lot between the ages of 10 and 14. It was because of that I started taking multiple martial arts courses when I was 12 years old. I only had to defend myself once, and after that, no one dared to mess with me again. So I kept attending courses and made significant progress, and I am now capable of kicking some butts, Josh knew this. As a result, I lose all perception of reality and become nuts. I'm assuming they weren't aware of my arrival. When I really kicked Josh's door open, they were taken aback by my actions. Because he was aware that I was going to chastise him, the look on his face was really pleasing to see. Her countenance was devoid of emotion. Simply put, she was at a loss about what she should do. You know that scene in Fight Club when Ed Morton beats the out of Jared Leto? You know what I'm talking about. I had a strong one to do it, but I held myself back. My belief was that merely knowing what I was capable of doing to him was sufficient. Punishment, especially when combined with the loss of his best friend and other similar consequences. Then I just stood there staring at her for a while. We were both experiencing existential crises at the same time. I had the impression that we were being flung in and out of reality for around five minutes. I had only just walked up to the front door. He'd already left the building. I removed both of her shoes off her feet and put them outside. I went to my room and gathered all of her weird attire, placing it in a bag and leaving it at the front door of the building. She was in tears at this point in time. She proceeded to express regret, claiming that it had occurred just once and that it had been an error on her part. I told her to go and never talk to me again in the most calm and collected way I could muster, and that we were officially through. My emotions were exploding, and I could feel them erupting. The thought of curling up in a ball and dying made me want to and shout. That occurred around five hours ago. Right now, I'm in a lot of discomfort. Josh's girlfriend was told, and she has since ended her relationship with him. It's a shame that some people still think this is a scam at this point. This just isn't the case. I'll post an update later in the week, if, 
and when things have changed since then. For the time being, I've gone home to my parents' house for a few days to decide out where I'll be residing. Story 2 Me 38 male, with my wife 37 female of 14 years, she cheated, lied, invaded my privacy, shared private issues. I've been married to one of the nicest, most generous persons I've ever encountered for the last 14 years. She's kind and outgoing, as well as talented and amusing. Everything went well for the most part, despite communication difficulties. It's mostly due to the fact that I'm the polar opposite, an introvert and a private person. The first issue is as follows. Following our wedding, she told me that when we were dating 15 years or more ago, her ex-boyfriend walked up and kissed her while they were having a conversation. I was overjoyed when she informed me, but something about the way she told me made me feel a little uneasy. It was about seven months ago when I found what it was. It was because of her sorrow that she came clean and told me that she had kissed him, not the other way around. She said that she kissed her ex because she had feelings for him and wanted to express them. It was only after kissing him that she realized she hadn't done so. A few things were causing me irritation. She was the one who cheated on me initially. Second, she lied about what happened for 15 years about what happened. My wife and I had already built a life together, kids, home, dog business, when this happened, and I don't believe it would have happened had she not notified me immediately away. My life would be considerably different right now. Because that sort of content is tough for me to digest, I had a terrible time with it. At first, according to her latest statements, she has shown no regret for what she has done. That she believed something positive came out of it, in the sense that she realized she no longer had feelings for her ex-boyfriend. Moment 1. WTF is going on? Another issue is that my wife opted to encroach on my personal space just a few days after she had told me the truth. She'd been aware for some time that I had a problem with porn, so she set up DNS tracking and started keeping track of my whereabouts online. Upon her return to me after a week, she told me that porn was a bigger issue for her than kissing a guy 15 years before. She recently said that she believed it was an act of adultery and that she wanted to talk about it. My advice to her was that she should take a step back and come to a full stop. That she had the authority to persuade me that kissing a guy wasn't a big deal was beyond me. A dilemma had been hurting me for 15 years, and I wasn't ready to move on to other matters. At that point, this was especially true when it seemed that she was merely seeking to deflect my focus away from my current issue. In addition, I was outraged that she had intruded on my personal space. I have nothing to hide, and you should neither, she said emphatically. WTF moment number two. Now we're at a standstill, and I'm furious because she's cheating, lying, dismissing my sentiments, and violating my private. And she doesn't appear to want to recognize that any of it isn't correct. The most I've received from her in the last six months is I should have handled things better. And most recently, one day you'll understand. I just discovered that she was logging DNS once again. I blew out at her, and we got into a big fight. But it was via that dispute that I discovered she confided in a common acquaintance of ours about the problem. I've urged her many times to respect my desire for privacy and to keep our problem out of our circle of acquaintances. She has other persons with whom she can communicate. Now, this friend discussed it with her husband, and he confronted me about it. She not only invaded my personal again, but she also made the situation public. I feel like I've been on the defense for seven months due to her incessant assaults. I'm still not over her cheating lying because of those assaults. Update. We have a therapy session tomorrow. The responses in this thread helped me in a few ways. First and foremost, it made me understand that she has severe difficulties with being the at-fault party. Second, it made me realize that I needed to go outside of my introverted comfort zone and attend therapy with her. 